What is up, YouTubers? It's Mushroom's Toy Box, and here we have a kind of like a refresher video. Um, I know a bunch of my viewers, and maybe some of you new viewers, are all about making videos of your own. So, uh, some of the things to, to take in mind is, how do I do videos where they're not like, um, I don't know, annoyingly jittery or, or, you know, stabilized? So basically, I came up with an old video uh, a couple years back where look up here for the link where I created a camera stand out of a cell phone camera stand out of a paper cup this here is not a paper cup this is like a party cup Dixie cup so it's a plastic cup and uh, it the paper cup idea did really well this is my cat Minnie um, she is really really wanting to know what's inside the box <laughs> What uh, basically uh, what I'm going to do this time around is I'm going to show you two steps uh, because I found a need of doing a, um, some low level shots meaning I needed to do the video where the camera angle this this angle right here was actually to the ground and unfortunately there's no tripods that actually carry that can do stuff like that so I'm going to show a picture real quick so that's my setup right now okay and basically it's great, it's perfect for what I, de I need to do and everything. However, the problem is, is that, like I said, sometimes I wanna go down low. I wanna get the perspective down low. There's no stands out there for, I've, I've looked high and low and I couldn't find anything. So, today I'm gonna show you how to create your own, kinda like, let's say, street level stand, okay? So basically, here's my Dixie cup. Um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna make this into a two-part stand, so. I'm going to take this and I'm going to mark it, okay? We're going to mark this uh, right here. And I'm going to keep marking it all the way around so that we have uniform line, I guess, as uniformed as possible. How's that? Okay? There's a lip on this plastic cup so it makes it easier to uh, keep, uh, keep the line straight. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is now for my younger viewers, I got to say, you got to be careful when using X Acto blades, okay? I'd like you to have some parental supervision, so please don't do this at home without somebody in your home that's an adult to able to help you. But what you want to do is you want to cut this open. Now, I'm not going to use it the whole way, but I'm just a safer way the scissors. Scissors will also do more uniform, so. And they're a lot faster, cleaner cut, okay. So then also I'm gonna trim these because I am going to use this part too. Okay, so now that it's done, you think this is trash, but it actually is not. So I'm gonna actually trim this, this stuff so that it doesn't cut me. It's, remember, it's it's plastic so it will be sharp it will uh, cut you and then you don't want to get cut so the next step is let's create the part for the phone next thing to do is to find out where and how you want your camera done so this is my uh, this is my camera and I basically want it to be right here okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my little sharpie marker do this just just simple cut like that okay so the next step I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut but I'm only gonna cut until that first lip see that lip okay okay and I'm just gonna fold them down like that these little flaps or tabs so it's like that okay and then that's my stand so take my phone boom all right so let's uh, show you an idea of what this all looks like when you have their, your setup like so hey guys now there's my stand how cool is that right the reason I did this is because now I can do some low level filming like you know like stay in line 
and I can actually see my uh, character now, and he's on the ground. Versus if I um, had it up high, you only see it from the top. So now, what am I going to do with this? Piece? Well, guess what? This is also great for a stand. Now, what am I going to do? I'm a something across the center. This one you can really kind of just eyeball, you know. And then the key thing you have to worry about here is to make sure you give it a little diagonal line. Because if you don't give it a diagonal line, what's going to happen is um, you're going to have uh, the, the perspective be straight up. And you don't want it to be straight up. You don't want it to be straight forward. You want to have it angled down kind of like this is. Again, please be careful using X-Acto blades. Um, the younger guys, the, the adults, hey, you guys don't know what you're doing, so. But the younger kids, please be careful. Alright, so let's. That guy almost, I'm probably gonna cut myself. Hey, the guy, did you see that guy on YouTube? He talked about being careful and he sliced open his hand. Um, so then you cut it like this and you cut it at a little angle, okay? And you just fold the tab in. There's no need to cut it. Just fold it, fold it in, whatever, and keep cutting in. So this one's going to be a little bit trickier. So I actually cut the tab off on this one because it wasn't really working out right. So there, there you have it. Look at that. Look at that diagonal setup. So let me um, let me do another. Let's do another um, thing. So I'm gonna take this one off the stand, so you can see. And let's put them all. So again, you see, it's kind of the same. It's kind of the same. It's a little lower. It's more closer to to him. And uh, you know, the perspectives are a little bit better. So. There you have it, my two uh, my two stand uh, quick easy fix made it out of a Dixie cup. All right. Thanks for watching. If you like what you saw, please uh, please subscribe. Share this with all your friends that make movies uh, on YouTube. And uh, thanks for watching. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. I will answer every single question I get. All right. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you at the next one. Bye bye.